You know, my boss told me when he gave me my last van, I want you to treat this like you do your own. I wonder how he would feel about that right now. I did ask him, though, if that meant I could chop it up and spray paint it flat black. He laughed, I don't think, realizing that there was that possibility. All right, guys, here's where we're at right now. Um, at the moment, I have the floorboard mostly set in there where it's gonna be. There's still room for some movement, but it's mostly where it's gonna be. Um, the one thing that's apparently obvious is it's not gonna cover all the damage. So, here's what I got going on at the moment. I got this little piece of metal right here. Hang on here a minute. Let's see if I can set this up so I can do things one-handed. But I got this little piece of metal here that, that will eventually fit in there and take its spot. I've got to do a little trimming, cutting, and some welding here, get things to fit up which is where I'm gonna be right now, and we'll come back. So, here we go. All right, friends, let's have just a little bit of fun a second and see what it takes to actually put this corner of the car back together. Before I can finish this piece and weld it in, I have to weld this piece back in. I know the camera work sucks. That's okay. Before I weld this piece back in, I've got to cut this piece out and weld it in. Then I weld that in, and then I'll have good metal to finish that part over there and weld it in. And then I can go back to fitting the floorboards. So just in case you were ever wondering what you can get yourself into by thinking that you're gonna simply change out a floorboard or a rocker panel or a cab corner or any kind of sheet metal on a vehicle. Just remember, you peel back one layer at a time and you're probably gonna find another layer underneath it that's gonna need something and then probably another layer underneath it that's gonna need something. So now I'm gonna start making a piece for this, get it welded in, then I'll remake this piece, weld it back in, and never throw. I got my pile of crap over there because you never throw these little pieces away. You may need them to use as a template, as a reference, as a guide. When you're putting this all back together to make sure that you're getting stuff where you want them to be. That's why, you know, you always just kind of sit on the stuff for a little bit until you've actually put back together past where that crap is. And things like this, there are brackets and stuff on them. Yeah, on that one too. That you're going to have to reuse. Seat belt holders, seat bolts, all that kind of stuff that you're going to have to use. So, when somebody asks, how come you got all this crap just sitting around on your floor or on your bench or wherever it is you got it sitting around, it's because you ain't got past this point yet. Once you got this welded in, the new piece made, it's there, and you can throw this piece away just my opinion so at the moment i'm gonna get that too much crap sitting on my little bench i know over here got this last little piece out and i'll bring you back when that's somewhat good all right guys we got this first piece pretty well made up 
kind of meant to throw that around just to show you guys how good I a basketball player I could have been. But it's pretty close to fitting. It'll go in. But just in case you think we're done with this area, when we pull the fender off and come from the outside, we're gonna have more. So we will be revisiting this little patch of heaven. But for right now, I actually have pieces that are ready to go back in and I can start building this thing out. So, uh, I'll get back with you. Alright. Piece one is done. Now we're on to piece number two. Alright guys, it's been a week or two since I've worked on this car. I don't exactly remember how long now. I got sidetracked. I had a couple projects to do for some friends. I got scooter cleaned up and running for the year. I got the hot rod out running. But uh, one of the other problems is for some reason, I just built this piece up a whole lot harder than my head than it needed to be. I had to make a filler panel because, let's see if I can, right here it is. <clears throat> Here's what was in there and obviously, you can't weld a new floor pan to that. It just ain't gonna work. So, I finally come out yesterday. I got that piece pretty well made. I kind of finally got it in my head not to make it any harder than it has to be. Um, as you can tell, it's kind of stitched together out of a couple, three pieces of metal, but it's gonna do what I need it to do. So today's plan is get that put in and then I will probably, all of this here is rebuilt and done. And then I will probably have to go in the back and I don't know how well you can see it if at all, but there's some right in there before I put the new floor pan in that I'm gonna have to fix. And then, I can actually switch to putting a floor pan in. So it's Friday, what? Afternoon, a little after three. Plan A, get that piece put in there, and then we'll see how far I get from there. All right, there's the new piece in. Floor pan's laying in there for right now just to make sure that I got things kind of close enough that I can stitch them together when that time comes. Um, the welds don't look the prettiest today, but it is what it is. Um, I got to move on to the back, get that fixed, and then I can finally sit this floorboard in, and we'll move on from there. Uh, Y'all have a good night. I don't know if I'll end this video here or if I'll continue on and make another one, but I guess we'll see what happens. All right. Oops, sorry. I don't remember when the last video was I shot, and I said I'd probably download. Obviously, I didn't. I was reminded of that earlier today. So I'm going to show you what I got going on here today. I am in the process of making this piece here. And uh, as you can tell, I kind of left that side unfinished, and I'll show you why here in a minute. I'll also show you that I welded both sides of the, the one piece. Now, the reason that I welded that one piece was because after bending this and this, getting this where it was supposed to be, just wasn't working out for me with I don't have a break you know I bend everything by hand so it just wasn't coming together the way I wanted it to now then this piece will end up floorboard going in there and you know you're gonna look and say wow you know that's a giant gap and whatever and i'll i'll show you here in a minute but that piece is going to fit in there 
I've already got the holes drilled for the spot welds there. I got to put a couple more in here. But what's going to happen, and I know there's no way I'm going to do this one-handed, but heck it, huh? So there, when this all comes together, you know, this is all going to be welded together. So that'll fill in there and I need to do a little notch in there, I see. But this will all kind of come together and part of this will actually get cut off. And you'll notice on my front piece here that I made the other day, that all kind of looks kind of scabby and, and not not fully finished and it's not but what's going to happen is a good piece of that will get cut off here and then that'll all kind of get together so it is you know i just made bigger pieces of metal than i needed so that i could cut them off and fit them to what i'm doing now hang on here a minute. I'm going to shut this off and get that piece back out. So, now then, the reason that that isn't finished is all of this is going to go end up going in the wheel well. And it's pretty rusted through here, the wheel well is. So I don't know where all of this is actually going to need to end up until I get that fixed. And I'm not going to fix that until I cut the quarter off and I actually get some room and, and do all that. So I know this is where it needs to be. The rest of this will have to kind of come once the new well well's in there. That's why that's not finished. So I think what I'm gonna try and do today or finish up for today is get this at least tacked in and then, uh, or cleaned up and then tacked in. And I don't know, we'll see what happens after that. Then we'll see when I get inside if I a, I probably won't put a video together tonight. Um, it may be Saturday morning. This is Thursday. It may be Saturday morning because I've got a, another job I got to do in the garage here this weekend and I've got to get it cleaned up. And so we'll see. All right. Have a good one, guys. All right. So there it is. Ugly welds and all. And you'll see I didn't weld any back here because that all needs fixed and i'll deal with all of that when i deal with the wheel well there it is we'll get things cleaned out of here we'll throw the floor the bah, sorry throw the floorboard on top of it make sure everything's gonna match it match up the way i hope it will and then maybe i can start putting the floorboard in all right all right there it is looks like we might have to do a little adjusting but it'll be a solid piece of metal to put my new floorboard into so there's that the front one is ready to go so now then take the floorboard out put the spot weld holes in it get it marked for the the uh cross members won't be ready to put a floorboard in so yeah that'll probably be another day have a good one guys all right guys i don't even know how far the videos go back on this thing now my add's kicked in here lately i've been doing everything but one thing i've been doing some odd jobs um working painted a hood for a, a friend of mine I haven't really done a paint job yet that I'd say I'm happy with, but I think I'm getting closer, I think. Drove the old girl to work today. Bike's been out and about. But for right now, I think finally we're getting back on that. So uh, be patient. Once again, I know I'll get this uploaded sometime, put together. But for right now, I think we're ready to start. I think, I think, I think, I think it's been a little bit. 
actually setting the floor pans in. I think all the metal work is in that I need to have in. And there's been a lot of cutting and patching here. It just, it has to be done. It has, stuff has to be welded in. So, uh, give me a few minutes. I'm gonna start kind of working around on this for a little bit. I gotta actually reorient myself to where I am on it. And uh, I'll get back with you. And we'll start seeing this thing actually Hopefully, possibly, maybe, perhaps, getting worked on again. <laughs> Have a good day, guys.